.NET 8 has made it much faster to validate configuration options. Hit the subscribe button and stay tuned to find out how to implement it in your .NET 8 project. We've got our ASP.NET Core Web API set up, and within that we've got an app settings.json file where we've got an age restriction group. Within that we've got some properties like the minimum age and the maximum age. This corresponds to the properties within this age restrictions options class. So we've got the minimum age and the maximum age there. We've also got some data annotations like we require the value for it. And we also require a range between 18 and 65. And this applies to the minimum age and the maximum age. We're binding it in the program.cs file. So we're adding it as the options in the age restriction options and then binding it to the configuration of age restriction, which is in our app settings. In the My Controller, we're passing in the I options of the age restriction options as part of dependency injection, and we're just outputting the value. We know that our web API is binding the configuration options fine because when we run our web API endpoint, we're getting the exact same values from the app settings.json file outputted as part of the response. With the minimum age, we can see that it requires a range between 18 and 65. Let's change the age restriction for the minimum age and take it down to 13. And let's see if our endpoint's gonna still run. Now at this point, we would expect some sort of validation issue, but you can see our API endpoint has run exactly fine. We're getting the values from the app settings.json. That means that these data annotations aren't working properly. To get them to work, we need to add an extra line to this configuration. We need to call the validate data annotations. When we run our API endpoint, we can see we're getting this issue that says the field minimum age must be between 18 and 65. So this works on runtime, but how do we get it to work on startup? We simply just have to call an extra method validate on start. Now when we start the application, before it starts running, we get the error. The field minimum age must be between 18 and 65. This is the way to validate configuration options in versions prior to .NET 8. You can continue to use it in .NET 8 and it will work absolutely fine. However, it does use reflection, which does tend to take a performance hit. With .NET 8, you can use code generation to do exactly the same thing, which I'll show you how to implement. First, we need to create an options validator class, which we're going to call age restriction options validator. We need to mark the class as partial, and the reason being is that we're going to be generating code with the same class name. We also need to implement the iValidate options interface, and within that, it requires a generic type, which we'll pass in as age restriction options. Age restriction options are the same properties that we're getting from the app settings.json file. We're getting an error here, and in order to resolve that, we just need to add the options validator attribute to the class. This has generated another age restriction options validator partial class, and within that, we've got this validate method. The validate method goes ahead and uses the age restriction options to validate all the values from it and output the result. To get this to run in our ASP.NET Core Web API, we need to remove the old configuration and replace it with builder.services.configure and pass in age restriction options as the generic type. We now need to bind this to the section in our app settings.json and we call builder.configuration.get section and the section is called age restriction. In addition, we need to add the options validator as a singleton. We call builder.services.addSingleton and we call iValidateOptions with age restriction options as a generic type. That is the service. And for the implementation, we name the class as age restriction options validator. When we run our API endpoint now, we're getting a runtime exception that states the age restriction minimum age must be between 18 and 65. With this new way of validating configuration options, there didn't seem to be a documented way of how you can validate on startup. But there is a workaround, so when we build the web application, we have access to the iService provider, which means we can resolve services for the IOC container. That's what we've done here, so we've got the options for the app settings.json, and we're also resolving the options validator. The options validator generates a validate method, which requires two parameters. 
the first parameter is the name, which can be set to null if we want to validate all the properties within it. And the age restriction options is essentially the values from the app settings.json. When we run that now, we can see on startup, it validates against the minimum age. Watch our video next on how to read a value from the app settings.json file if you want to know more about configuration values and how they can be used in ASP.NET Core. And it's part of a four part playlist where you will also learn about how to set connection strings and environments.